No doubt these 2010 and 2012 national championship trophies are a thing of beauty when you walk into the TC women's rifle range. But for junior Sarah Scherer, she's hoping to win a little something she can wear around her neck. A little something as in an Olympic medal. In February, she earned a spot on the U.S. Olympic team that will compete in London this summer in the 10-meter air rifle event. I, mean, I was really that. happy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I was just really happy. Was, it was like, finally. You know, it's just one of those things like you've been working so hard at this. You, you're kind of like the strategy of your whole training actually came out to accomplish what it was meant for. It was a dream come true for Sarah, who started in this sport at age nine, when she and her brother Steven started shooting together. Throughout her career, she has been extremely successful, including capturing TCU's first ever individual national championship in small bore back in 2010, when she was just a freshman. She has accomplished more than um, any other athlete coming through this program has. She has set the bar very high for the other athletes that will follow her on this women's rifle team. Sarah says it didn't really hit her that she had made the Olympic team until she went to a dinner recently with some past Olympians. One of the things we did is all the Olympians would take pictures with the little the high school athletes and stuff. And that was just that was the first time it really clicked for me. It's like, yeah. You're an Olympian, even though you haven't competed in the Olympics. You know, Carl Lewis was there, like a lot of, I mean, these amazing, Joe Delouche, like all these crazy people that are like, haven't won amazing medals and everything, and are amazing athletes, like they were there right there with me. That was, and that was really the first time that I was like, okay, wow, this happened? I'm actually an Olympian? I'm actually going to the Olympics? You know, it was an interesting mental click for me, but it was really cool. Sarah came close to making the 2008 Olympic rifle team, but she fell a little short. However, she still went to Beijing for the Olympics to watch her brother compete on the U.S. Olympic rifle team. She calls her brother her first real coach, but he won't be in London to see her. He passed away two years ago. I mean, all, all that kind of stuff, like everything that's come up to it, definitely has been bittersweet, too, because, you know, I just look coming back from the line and being able to see him and just him being so excited and everything, like that's something really special that I, I miss, you know, every single time I compete. But... You know, I know, I know he's doing that up in heaven anyway, so, <laughs> yeah. So she'll compete in London for herself, her brother, and for all those in this sport who didn't get a chance to compete for their country. But Sarah won't just be happy to be there, she wants to win. I was, I was Googling some stuff, looking at some the Olympic venues and all this, you know, I was just kind of wrapping my head around what it's going to be like. Um, after I made the team, and I came up to a picture of the medals. I was like, ooh, I want one of those. <laughs> like, it was just something, I was like, you know, I really, really want one. And she won't settle for just one chance at a medal. After talking to those Olympians at that dinner, they fired her up to set her sights on Rio, the site of the 2016 Games. They were telling me how making the Olympics and competing in the Olympics is extremely addictive. Once you make it once, you just want to keep on going, keep on going. So knowing me, knowing my personality, that's definitely up my alley. So it's 2016 is, is, is a big possibility. But for now, London is on her mind and in her heart. In Fort Worth, for The Mountain, I'm Amanda Maisie.